Sergeant America coming at you. Boom. Uh, I must have been a very good boy this year because for my birthday, uh, the wife got me Green Arrow statue. Uh, this is one of the artifacts plus uh, one tenth scale pre painted figure, Green Arrow. Uh, craftsmanship by Koto Bayukuna. I'm sure I just horribly said that. So um, it's got this wonderful Sorrentino art on there uh, from the Lemire Sorrentino run. Um, you know, it's clear so you get a cedar statue in there. Uh, you know, I definitely, this is pretty much my first statue. Uh, I've gotten a lot of figures and all that. So I am just getting my toes wet on this. Uh, other people, uh, channels I've seen, uh, Hero Statue Collector Lou uh, has an amazing channel. I would recommend that. Um, you know, he's got uh, Immortalized in Stone and Collector's Chat. And they talk about, you know, tons of wonderful, great statues that they have. So, like I said, I mean, I'm just dipping my toes in. Uh, this one-tenth scale is probably the way I'll go. I'm a little cheap, you know, though, so I don't know that I would spend anything more than that. Uh, there's there is uh, one or two busts that I'm looking at, but as of right now, I mean this is my first figure. DC's got a whole bunch of them. I could probably get them at a good price, and uh, I like the the look of them. So without any more, here we are with our young Green Arrow. Uh, the basically based off of the new 52 Green Arrow. Um, the bow was uh, separate. You know, so I just had to snap that into his little hand. That wasn't too bad. But there was also this little itty-bitty tiny arrow, which you can just see him pulling out of his quiver. Let's see. You know, and that I was having a little trouble figuring out at first. Let me see if I can even get that in there. I mean, this thing is a tiny pain in the butt. So don't, you know, don't want to drop it. Um, you know, I had to... You know, I was looking at it and looking at it, and finally it dawned on me the way his hand fits. That that just kind of slides into there and fits into the sheaf on his back to make it look like he's drawing an arrow. So um, I really just like it. I like having the hood up, having the mask on, uh, you know, just a hint of facial hair. So he's the young Ollie. Not quite sure what he would do with this. You know, like. I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm really a Lemire uh, Sorrentino fan, so if they would have styled him after that, I would have been a little happier, but uh, still in general, I mean, he's got a quiver full of arrows, um, none of them move or anything like that, thank goodness, I don't know, I'd probably lose a ton of these, um, but I mean, I mean, it's it's a sharp paint job, all the way from the, from the boots up, you know, uh, you know, I, I guess I have a... I, some of the stuff has to be done, I guess, by hand. Uh, but, I mean, it, it seems so nice and tight that I, I feel that, you know, it's machine done. But, you know, in general, I mean, his eyes have been painted over green with the mask. So maybe at some point, you know, I, I've done a lot of figurines way up in the back and the top. I did a short video on those. So playing around with a little paint isn't something I'm not unused to. So... But, I mean, something that's nice, I really don't want to dick around with that too much. Um, it has a magnetic base, so really just kind of clunk and sticks on there. Not too much, though. I mean, it easily comes off still. But, you know, for, I'm trying to think of what they go for. I think it's like 60 bucks, if I, if I remember correctly, on these. Like I said, it was a present, but I'm thinking they're about the $60, $70 range. Uh, for that, I mean, it, it's still a nice, tight statue. I'm interested in getting maybe the Flash next. Probably the influence of the TV show, but, you know, the, they have Batman. They have the, the whole Justice League, basically, and then a couple of villains, I believe. Um, but, you know, I, I'm very happy with this as a beginning. You know, it's a start. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys are grabbing statues, if uh, if there's other collectibles that you're getting, uh, there's definitely a lot of stuff I'm looking for out there in the market besides some of the statues. Uh, one of the things I'd really like to get is a Gotham badge and a um, Central City badge. So little things that, you know, just are catching my eye. Uh, they're not in my shop right now. So I'm either debating if I'm going to have them ordered through there or if I'll just go through the DC site. 
uh, I guess I'll see what I can get the best deal on. Because, you know, I mention all the time I'm cheap. Um, so, hope you enjoyed the statue. Like the video. Don't want to make it too long. I'm starting to ramble. Catch rays.